Hey everybody, Flamin' Jackson here. I hope everybody's doing all right today. Got y'all another review be doing today. This here is some hot salsa that was made for my friend Bobby Ratliff. Uh, he's the same one that gave me the peppers that I've been reviewing for y'all. Um, <clears throat> can't wait to try this y'all. Um, making a Mexican lasagna for dinner. And no, it's not homemade. I would love to learn how to make a homemade one, but um, <clears throat> here I'll just show y'all real quick before I get into this review, y'all. The lasagna I'm making. Let's see what I did at the box. Y'all just bear with me out here. It is right there beside me, y'all. If I was a snake, it would have bit me. Um, it's a great value Mexican style lasagna. Let's see if y'all can see it good. So I'm planning on using some of the salsa here to go with it. But I don't believe I've ever tried any of Bobby Ratliff's salsa. So I I don't know what it smells like, what it tastes like. But we're about to find out, y'all. I can't wait to uh, try this, y'all. And hopefully y'all see me alright. I got this camera adjusted alright. Get this spoon ready. I can already tell you, know, even before I open this up, that it's a thick salsa, which I love thick salsas, y'all. Let me come up here and hold this up here where y'all can see the inside there. The, look at that. Got a lot going on in this salsa, y'all. Can't wait to try it. And if I'm correctly, y'all, uh, correct, y'all, um, I believe what he said is the the majority of peppers that's in the salsa is jalapenos. Um, so I know they could be extremely hot because it's just the jalapenos and a majority of it is. Um, but I know I can already tell by the aroma that it's a really good salsa, y'all. I can smell the tomatoes, the jalapenos. So fresh, y'all. And this is made from um, the peppers and the produce from uh, his garden. So everything pretty much in this is all fresh, y'all. It's all homemade. Um, <clears throat> but all right, y'all, to review. Hmm. I don't want to cross the tan that y'all for reason well. Can't get it quite yet. Here, y'all just bear with me, y'all. I don't want this video to be too long, y'all. But I'm gonna to have to have more. Like I say, I'm gonna be eating some of this on my uh, Mexican um, lasagna that I'm cooking. It's in the oven now, but uh, one spoon of this stuff here just ain't good enough. I mean, it's delicious. Well, I mean, one spoon ain't enough to eat. I ain't gonna get too much in here, but it's just it's that good. All right. Put this back on here. And move it off the table. This table ain't really that sturdy, so I don't really trust it. I want nothing to get broken. Let me hold this back up. Maybe you can see the consistency, uh, the consistency a little bit better in this. Look at that. Chunky. Just the way I love it. All right, y'all.
I do have to say, the salsa here is delicious, y'all. <laughs> it is. I could almost, well, I could, but I'm not going to because I want to be able to eat on food. I could get a spoon and just eat out of that jar. And that jar would probably be gone in probably like a day or two. Um, it's that good. Um, for flavor, I'm going to give it a 10 plus. I mean, it's better than a 10. Um, as far as heat, maybe a 1. Um, you can you can feel a little bit of warmth from the jalapenos in it. But I wouldn't really say that it's a hot salsa. Which, if you're not used to hot stuff, yeah, it probably would be hot. Um, I would consider that maybe a mild to medium salsa. Which has great flavor. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's an excellent salsa. It tastes great. And I can't wait to try it on different foods, y'all. I'm just thankful for the opportunity to try it. Thank you so much, Bobby Ratliff. Thank you for giving this to me. And, and all the peppers and stuff you gave me. I'm just so thankful. It's a true blessing. Um, like I say, I give it a 10 plus for flavor and close to a 1 on the heat level, but I totally recommend this salsa, y'all. Um, it is delicious. <laughs> it's definitely <clears throat> a lot better than the salsa you'd buy in your store, y'all. And you can tell that, um, you know, the tomatoes and everything that's in this was fresh. I mean, you can tell it is a difference. And you can tell. Everything that's grown in the garden always tastes better. And I just want to say thank you so much, Bobby. Thank you. If y'all like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, share. Make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you'll be aware of any future videos that come out, y'all. Um, it means a lot to me that y'all are willing to watch these videos. Um, I'll be coming out with more videos probably sometime tomorrow, if not tonight. But I'm trying to limit myself probably maybe one or two videos a day. Because um, I, I do got several products that I'm going to be reviewing. But that's all I got. So once I run out, you know, it may be a little time in between where I won't be able to do it every day. But if I limit myself to, you know, one product review a day, I know I'll have, I'll be able to do reviews for at least probably about... I don't know, maybe three or four days, something like that. And plus, I got the one chip challenge that I'm going to be doing uh, this week. I'm not for sure exactly when this week, time. I'm not for sure exactly when this week, but it will be this week when I do it. I'll let y'all know before I do it. I've been wanting to do it for a long time, y'all. Never done any of the one chip challenges, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm only going to be eating one. <laughs> um, I know there's people who eat many of them. But like I say, I've never, I've never ate them. I've uh, watched videos of people eating them, and they say uh, some people say it's not really a hot, and some people say they are, and some people say, well, a lot of people say it tastes gross. Um, but <laughs> I'll find out when I do the challenge, y'all. So y'all stay tuned. I hope y'all have a blessed day, and remember, you are loved. Peace, y'all.